Hi, my name is John. I'm a teacher and product specialist at EduTrade. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through our Senior Face Technology Kit. Now, technology can be one of the most interesting subjects in your classroom. You're having your learners look at real needs in their communities, doing designs, and then taking that all the way through to a finished product. Now, it can be frustrating trying to teach technology in a classroom when you don't have the right equipment or materials. So what we've done is we've put together a kit that provides everything that you need for 10 groups to do work in your class. So if you have 40 learners in your class, that means groups of four, which is really ideal for them to do practical work and their practical assessments. Now let's take a look at what's inside the kit. First of all, it comes in this sturdy plastic trunk with wheels, which keeps everything together and makes storage and access really easy. Now the learners will be, once they've completed their designs, building structures that they'll then use for their models. So what we've done is uh, we've provided these wooden strips, which are centimeter square, and they make really solid structures. Now to strengthen those structures, you'll either use triangulation or um, you'll be using cardboard gussets. So what we've done is we've given you some printed out cardboard sheets with gussets that you can cut out and then make these solid structures. And then these can be used as a basis for the rest of the structure that you'll build. These wooden dials can be used to extend the structure or even be used for axles. My favorite one though is these plastic rods. These can be bent to shape and cut really easily and they fit really nicely into the holes in our strip and gusset pack and our base plates. And uh, all the parts are designed to fit neatly onto them. Now our base plate can also be bent and cut uh, to make different shapes and our strip and gusset pack is easily bent just with a candle or um, with a, a heat from a, a small flame and these holes are just the right size for the plastic rods to fit through neatly. And these are uh, different gussets, that, different size gussets that can be broken off and used to strengthen the structure. So an example of that would be over here where I've used a base plate, cut it in half to make the bottom and the top, and then use the strip and gusset pack, cut those out, use the triangulation there, and then use the plastic rod here in that as a, a, a rod over here. Now all of these things need to be put together. So what we've done is we've provided little nuts and bolts or if you want to quickly do a demonstration, you can put it together with paper fasteners. The, onto the rods, uh, to show them mechanization and levers and things like that, we provided different size gears, uh, wheels that can be used to make little cars with that, uh, as well as pulleys and cams and even advanced gears and levers. Not only that, but our pneumatics and hydraulics equipment that we've provided in terms of syringes, one-way valves, and T-pieces and tubing, they fit perfectly with the strip and gusset pack. So here I've made a basic Jaws of Life model, and you can see over here, it works really well. I could play with this all day. Right, uh, and then I just wanna show you our car. Here's an example of where I've used some of these wooden rods as axles with the wheels. The plastic uh, rods also work for that and different parts and then I've covered it with this plastic sheet. We provide plastic sheets that are thermoplastic so they can be bent and cut to shape. And that shows uh, a further step for the learners in technology where you finish the product and make it uh, a finished piece. And next I want to show you the electronic things. It comes in a plastic tray which keeps everything together and we provide a whole variety of materials. We've got battery holders and batteries, clips for the motors as well as the motors, bulbs and holders, uh, strips to uh, connect the wires together, and then panels and a variety. We've got LEDs, LDRs, uh, transistors, capacitors, switches, buzzers, it goes on. And uh, when the learners are working with it, one of the biggest problems they have is putting all these together. So what we've done is we've made a, a little electronic board that uses springs 
And what the learners do is they just bend the string like this and then they connect the component and it's got a solid connection. Then they can connect a wire onto the other side of the spring and build their circuit. Then what we've also done is we've provided uh, copper sulfates as well as uh, that you can do electroplating with as well as copper and zinc strips so that they can learn how to turn a lemon into a battery. Now putting all these things together can be quite tough. So what we've done is we've got teacher's guides that will guide you through step by step how to use all the equipment and build these circuits as well as learners activity sheets. Now these are really great because you can just make copies of them, give them to your learners and they'll guide the learners through the process. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at our kit and getting to know it a bit and that you're a little bit more excited about what you can do with your class. And don't forget to look at our website and to look at our resources tab to get some other great resources. Enjoy your teaching.